despite the ritual nature of everyday interaction, and I don't mean a formal ritual in the sense of a marriage ceremony, for example, which certainly is a kind of ritual, but the everyday ritual nature of conversation. So, for example, you meet somebody and you say, how are you? And you expect the person to say, fine, or good, uh, or whatever else they might say. You don't expect a medical report. <laughs> now, that's in the United States. We know how are you as part of a greeting ritual. How are you? Good. There are countries, for example, Burma, where when you meet somebody, you say, where are you going? Now, an American, say, is walking in Burma, meets someone you know, and, this, and the person says, where are you going? And you think, what business, what business is it of yours where I'm going? Well, in Burma, where are you going is a greeting, and the answer is over there. <laughs> another, greeting in Burma, <laughs> another greeting in Burma would be, have you eaten yet? Literally, have you eaten rice yet? And again, you know, you're an American, you're in Burma, somebody says, have you eaten rice yet? And you think, oh, maybe they're inviting me to lunch. <laughs> no, it's just a greeting. Have you eaten yet? Yes, I have. So, you have to know the ritual, not only to know how to interpret, but what's the, what's the proper response. And this a theme is going to run through everything I say. If you don't recognize a ritual as a ritual, you take it literally, and you don't give the right response. 